Comics of 100 Years and One Day Ago, July 22nd, 1917. It's Crazy Cat by Harriman. It's a split screen one, so one side will be covered. War. Oh ho, a storm is coming this way. Something has got to be did. Well, Crazy Cat is more or less a peaceful person, yet he realizes that nothing induces preparedness like preparation. Hence, these procedures. And so Crazy Cat impresses his cousin Crazy Catbird with the full portent of the situation, enlisting thereby the invaluable services of a Class A aviator. And Crazy Catfish, natural defender of the deep, assumes the role of the only periscopeless submarine extant. Who goes from there, huh? Answer quick or I'll discharge a blank cartridge at you. Crazy Cat himself will endeavor to keep inviolable the freedom of the land upon whose sod his unshackled feet tread in ingloried liberty. Ho oh, ho, the spirit of mutiny is rampant. In Ignat's mouse, master of mischief, sees in all this the need of preparedness, and then, that his selfish soul may triumph, he acts. Cousin Tobias Titmouse, he of the air, takes care and full measure of crazy catbird. Alas! Well, Manny Muskrat, rodent pirate of the sub-seas and cousin of Ignat's, ends the benevolent career of crazy catfish. Pow! Oh, sad day. To the victor belongs the spoils of war. The vic to the victim, the glory, which probably means nothing to none of us. Ah, oh, I have not lived in vain, little suiting surd. Twelve o'clock, and all's well. Little bravery as regular... The Roman used to say, it's all like it should be.